Hi, I'm Chris Frame and welcome back to my channel. April 14 and 15, 1912 will forever be remembered for the Titanic disaster. On April 14 at 11.40pm, the flagship of the White Star Line struck an iceberg which caused the ship to sink in the early morning of 15 April. It was the Cunard liner Carpathia that saved all of the survivors of the lost Titanic. And while the story of Titanic is well known, Carpathia's story is less known. The Cunard liner Carpathia was originally designed to operate on the Transatlantic Immigration Service, sailing between Europe and the United States. The ship's maiden voyage departed Liverpool on the 5th of May 1903, bound for New York. Aboard Carpathia, the third class accommodation was notable for being of a higher standard than what was on offer on other rival liners. Carpathia featured multiple public rooms for third class passengers, and all meals were included in the fare which wasn't always the case on transatlantic immigration voyages at the time. The ship was subsequently given a major overhaul and reconfigured to accommodate 100 first class, 200 second class, and an enormous 2,250 third class passengers. This gave the 13,500 gross ton ship more capacity than the 70,000 ton QE2. While Carpathia was a workhorse for Cunard, she was overshadowed by the more famous express liners. But in 1912, the ship became well known across the globe when she made a rescue dash to pick up the survivors of the ill-fated Titanic. Carpathia was outbound from New York on a journey that should have taken her to the Mediterranean. When Titanic's master, Captain E.J. Smith, realised that his ship was doomed, he ordered the international distress signal of CQD to be sent on the wireless radio. Carpathia's wireless operator, Harold Thomas Cottom, was off duty and listening to commercial messages being sent to Titanic. Cottom decided to try and rouse Titanic and alert them to these messages which were waiting for them. Titanic's response of, we are sinking, come at once, this is CQD, would forever change Carpathia's future. Captain Rostron was the master of Carpathia and he immediately realised the situation was severe and set course to Titanic over 60 miles away. Carpathia travelled through the night towards Titanic's last known position. She was sailing at high speeds and dodging icebergs and arrived at around 4 o'clock in the morning. Titanic had founded at about 2.20am, leaving just over 700 survivors. Carpathia took all of the survivors on board and, before stormy conditions set in, the ship set a course to return to New York, where Titanic's passengers were disembarked. Captain Rostron and his crew were heralded as heroes for their actions that night. The world's press complimented the ship and her captain and crew, and in the two subsequent inquiries into the Titanic disaster, the Carpathia was acknowledged for her part that she played. The inquiries went on to recommend sweeping safety changes, including lifeboats for all, an international ice patrol, and the establishment of the Safety of Life at Sea Regulations, or SOLAS, which still exists to this day. After the Titanic disaster, the Carpathia was a well-known ship, and she continued to sail on her regular service until the outbreak of World War I. On the 17th of July 1918, the Carpathia was travelling in a convoy near Fastnet, when she was hit by two torpedoes fired by the U-boat U-55. A third torpedo hit the ship as the lifeboats were being manned, killing several crew members, and it caused the famous Cunada to sink. 218 survivors of the 220 people aboard were rescued by the Royal Navy. Looking back at Carpathia's legacy, it's interesting to remember that it's not always the record breakers or the largest and fastest liners that made the most difference. If Carpathia had not been there to rescue the survivors of the Titanic, if her captain and crew had not been so brave, and the ship had not performed so well during the evening that night, then the stories of the Titanic disaster and the lessons learned from it may have never been shared. As Carpathia made her way out of the Titanic's disaster zone, heavy weather set in, and so had the ship not arrived when she did, it's anyone's guess as to what might have happened to the survivors of the RMS Titanic. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you found the video interesting. There's a slightly more detailed version of the Carpathia's history on my website at chriscunard.com. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for other history videos. If you're interested in maritime history, why not check out my photographic tour of the QE2, one of the most famous ocean liners to ever sail on the transatlantic service. 
Or if you're interested in what's going on in the cruise industry at the moment, check out my cruise news playlist. Thanks so much again for watching and until next time, I hope to see you on board.